What's up guys, welcome back to a new video. So as you guys can see here, we have an arena that I made. This is the official WrestleMania 2 arena that I made, of course. So if you guys remember, about a week ago, I made a video about just that stage and how I wanted it to look. And I was able to bring that to life in this in this arena. So, if you guys also remember when I showed you the, the dining room, how that was a huge-ass mess. Well, I turned that mess into this huge-ass arena. So, I'm gonna... Sorry, I'm gonna try not to talk a lot because I am sick and I can tend to get... Like, my throat can really start to hurt if I talk too much, so I'm gonna try making it as quick as possible. So, as you guys can see right here, we have the stage. Um, I did use the steel beams from the... Uh, what place was this? The Money in the Bank place set. I also made some little structure here. Uh, I did decide to put some longer beams going down here because I was originally planning on putting like the four steel beams right here so I would make that like outdoor structure. But I figured I might as well put it there because that's where it normally is. And yeah, I also got some steel beams here. I got these two little ones and I got this huge one over here. In case you guys are wondering, that is the huge one. It's not. It's not these two, but yeah. So, I did also use the Jax Punjabi Prison playset, and behind that is the, uh, it was the backstage playset that was the Kmart exclusive, and behind that is this. This is from the WWE replica belt, and I just decided to stick it back there, and it does look pretty cool. I also did have to twist-tie some of the stuff, because whenever I'd film entrances, and whenever I'd have somebody come out, this would fall, and this would... Actually, this holds this steel beam here holds the backstage playset together, but it's just that just does not work. And yeah, I did have to use two tables, and I did actually use the Chicago flag I got here. I was originally going to take this to a SmackDown show, but that got canceled because of the goddamn coronavirus. And so I just decided to uh, just put it on here. I was originally going to use this for the ring mat, and I put it on, and it just did not it did not fill everything here. And in case you're all wondering, all of this is tablecloth. This is all tablecloth that I just used. And yeah, so you got everything here. These are two shirts under the Money in the Bank and the Punjabi Prison boxes. And then you go down here with the like little skateboard uh, staircase that I got from an old skateboard place that I had a couple years ago. Uh, then you got the Seth Rollins box that's holding the stairs together. Then you got the... A box here from the... Actually, I think this is a ringside exclusive box. No, it's not even a ringside exclusive. It's a box that I got when I got like those six loose figures off ringside. And you got a staircase going down that leads you right to the ring. I'm currently filming Bobby Roode versus Austin Aries. If, uh, if you guys do not know the official WrestleMania match card, um, I will be posting a video about it. Um, or actually, I could tell you guys it now. So there is one match, though, that is... I wouldn't say it's secretive, but it's just there's one match on there that is going to be good And I just know it. you guys may know some of the matches, but I will be probably making a Video about it in the near future. So yeah, so as you see right here. You got the ring I put the Wrestlemania 31 ring skirt on there because I cannot find another Wrestlemania skirt and then you got the The fans going down there by there. I wanted to fill it all up, but I'm just too lazy to get everything else so you got fans here, you got fans going all the way along here. What I actually did is I actually separated the sides between Jax figures and Mattel figures. There's a couple customs there, and then everything else here is Jax. And then you got the, uh, this is the light I use for entrances, so whenever somebody, well, it's kind of hard to see, but I'll put it down there. So whenever somebody makes an entrance, I can just use this, and that's what I call the Shinsuke Nakamura light. And then I also got the, um... How I plan out my matches, uh, I'm not going to show you guys everything that's on here because this is how I, this is how I book matches. I, like a couple weeks before the show, I just write down the stuff and I just plan it out. So right here we got the Bobby Roode match, the Bobby Roode Austin Aries match planned out here. And then you got the um, AJ Styles and CM Punk match. I am almost done with this show. I have, in a week's span, I have finished five matches and I'm at the last two. I just got to film this. And yeah, and also, uh, this might be something you guys will not be seeing in the uh, pick fed. But here's the uh, World of Action Championship. It's basically just the Attitude Era WWE title. 
or WWF title, I should say, because that's when it was the WWF. Yeah, I should put that there. That's where I'm going to be putting the titles. In case you guys are wondering, I got a Spanish commentator's team and a, a normal commentator's team right here. We got a custom Pentagon Jr. that I tried to make but failed. Uh, Unico and then Kevin Owens and Shane McMahon because I couldn't figure out who else to put there. Yeah, so as you guys see here, this is what you guys will not be seeing in the pick fed, hopefully. And this right here is like figures that I'm going to need or figures that I'm going to use for parts. Uh, I don't know why Finn's here. I just I just decided to not use him, I guess. Or no, I did use him, but um, I do need the hands for something because uh, somebody's going to be coming out with these taped hands and I just wanted to use them for something. So, yeah, that's why I got Finn there. I also got this AJ here because I was using it to play around with the stage and see how it looked and I just too lazy to take it back upstairs. Then you got the uh, Seth Rollins here that um, I, I'm not sure if I'm gonna if I'm gonna use this for WrestleMania. I might use a different one. I've already filmed the match, so you guys are gonna have to wait for that. And then right along here is like the other parts I'm gonna need. This is from Austin Aries Entrance. Uh, I'm not gonna spoil anything here or there. I got some crowns, Balor's thing, the Bobby Roode robe, and then right here actually some interchangeable hands I got, and then a red marker for blood. And, yeah, I got some extra interchangeable hands, actually. I don't know why a lot of them are out. Some of them I haven't used. Some of them I will be using. I'm not going to really need any interchangeable hands for this match. So, yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty much it. I did also do that, too. It's just I ran into stuff, and I saw a couple people use this for barricades, so I just decided to wing it. And, yeah, so that's pretty much the video. Um, there will be a match card video out. Uh, in the description, I will be explaining everything. I'll try to. Because you guys forget, I'm sick, so it's going to be hard to. So, yeah, here's a full overshot view of the arena. And, yeah. So, let me guys know what you think about this arena in the comments. Thank you guys for watching. Drop a like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.